YouTube. It's a Sunday morning. Do a little drive here. I'll try to improve two things. It was loud and clear in the comments that my attempt at putting music in the background was unsuccessful. Okay, so I'm not going to do that today. I'll just talk a little bit. I'm try. I'm going to try not to bore you with too much. Uh, here at a pretty much wide open turn, it's clear both directions. Um, because we're on the same build, we're still on 8.1. I'm not going to do any specific testing. I'm just going to do um, a quick route up and back and, and see what happens. The second thing, and I'm testing it because it's an overcast, drizzly day. I've got the display here. And just for those of you that are giving me recommendations, I've tried this before and it did not work. Um, I've got the display on night mode and 100%. But because it's overcast, I think it, it might work. I'm, I'm just hoping it does. If it doesn't, I apologize. I'll do what I can in post and, and we'll try again. Uh, in the daytime with bright sunlight, I've tried this and it did not work. It was just too washed out because this is not a dark mode. It's a night mode. Right here we're at a flashing light. It does not need to stop and it did a pretty good job. It's got a lead car that might have helped but in any case, it slowed down for the turn and um, proceeded. I've got a route set here um, that avoids most of the uh, 50, 60 mile an hour highways. It's mostly going to be kind of this two lane road, um, but it'll probably have several stoplights, stop signs, pedestrian type interactions, I'm hoping. So uh, we'll see. Here's a uh, drawbridge here. You can see it's got the stoplights and a little bit of a rendering here. Well, it didn't render at that time, but before it's rendered, it's similar to a railroad track where it has all of the, the stoplights rendered. protected right turn a little bit of hesitancy hesitancy there but it uh, was probably just double checking it was clear it did a good job all right I've driven by this section here before uh, I'll just describe it a little bit over here on the right side there's a bunch of parking spots on the side of the street um, it looks like it stopped drawing the line and it's creeping over into those spots a little bit. It's not rendering that white line like I wish it would. It, it's creeping in there occasionally. Uh, yeah, not quite completely rendering those parking spaces as a road edge until this white line comes back up and then it's very clearly marked. Okay, I've had a little bit of trouble at this intersection before. Let's see how it does. It needs to get into the right lane and now it's got a car to contend with. was nobody in the right lane I jumped over it was gonna go uh, through that well it did go through that light all right we're being engaged all right this is a little bit of an S curve um, it's pretty benign it's not like mountain roads or anything but it's a little bit curvy See how it maintains the center line speed. 
All right, it's putting on the blinker here when it doesn't need to. It's just a turning road. Okay, what's it doing? There's nobody behind me. It's very, it's going 12 now, but now it put the left turn on. So it treated that little spot like an intersection that it was clearing. Um, all right, that's two snapshots. I've already gotten two of them, so we'll see how many of my snapshots I'm gonna use up. All right, interesting, I've got a pedestrian here crossing the road. Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, it did finally slow down for him kind of aggressively, but it did. Another pedestrian in that crosswalk. But this is an interesting one. This is stop for pedestrians within crosswalk. So it should have treated that as a stop sign with that pedestrian. It looked like it was just avoiding the pedestrian in a normal way without acknowledging that there's a crosswalk there that turns into a stop sign when there are pedestrians. I've been trying to capture that one for a while, that, so that was pretty good. Another pedestrian crossing the street with a dog, not in a crosswalk. Just slow down a little bit. Late. It, they, they were clear of the road before I needed to do too much, but you saw the visualization. It looked like it knocked a couple miles an hour off. Flashing yellow light. It didn't slow down at all, so that's appropriate without any cross traffic. Okay, we're coming up on an intersection here. I've done before. Um, I've done just about everything before. In any case, it's, it's gotta do a left turn and then a very quick right turn. I don't have any interfering traffic to contend with like I did last time I did this light. So last time I did it, it turned left and then there was another car that kind of came out and got in the right lane and it couldn't get to the right. So what it really needs to do here is a left turn into the right lane over here, that's what it needs to do. So we'll see how it does it this time. Still no oncoming traffic. All right, there's a protected left turn. Looks like it's mapping, it's going into the left lane. Yeah, it's okay. So now it needs to get into the right lane. It's gonna have to cross a solid. It did it, last time it just got stuck. There's a bicyclist. Last time it just got stuck with the uh, traffic next to me and it tried to make the turn from the, the right side okay got a car here that is proceeding and it stopped and it's creeping and it's doing a nice ride on red I'd say that was a good one okay so that bicyclist that we just saw is now up here on the right side of the road without a bike lane um, and this car here went around it nicely let's well now he's got a little bit of a turn lane so it's not quite the same issue let's see if it honors him yeah, look at that. It did a good job. All right, almost to the halfway point here where uh, we'll stop. There's just a couple more interactions here with some stoplights, I think, and I see a little bit of construction signage up front.
Okay, interesting. One of these crosswalk signs has, has fallen over. Let's see if it goes around it. Okay, it did not go around it, so I had to intervene there just at the last second. Um, so that that crosswalk sign was actually on the ground as an obstruction, and if it did, if it was going to miss it, it was going to be too close of a margin here. So this visualization is great right now. Look at this. We got all the cones. Pretty good probably view of the signage. There's our detour road closed uh, from this other road. Uh, we're basically just going to go up here to this stop and I'm going to turn around and, and reset my route. But I won't be able to come back this exact way because of this detour. I'll have to probably start it from another point. All right. And it's proceeding. Pretty good. Hopefully this visualization showing up with the uh, night mode turned on. All right, and here it is. It's stopping. Uh, I'm disengaging. It's it's doing that stopping a beam, a beam thing. There's a car right behind me, so I, I I didn't let it stop all the way. But I will discuss it briefly. Let's see. So we only had two disengagements on that short drive. It was a uh, stoplight that it was in the wrong lane and it was proceeding straight into oncoming traffic. And then at the very end there, just kind of an unfortunate. It didn't see the obstruction that it needed to. Uh, go around from a sign that had fallen over. So I'll reset the route and uh, we'll turn it back around. Okay, I've got the route reset and the, the mapping is taking me right back through that construction that I, I don't think it can proceed through. So I'm just going to see how the car reacts. I don't think it's going to be a very good test. I'm guessing I'm going to have to disengage it here. Uh, we'll see. It does have a look. Okay, there's a car coming. He waited appropriately. There's the view. All right, you can proceed. All right, there's a detour to road closed that is against the route. So let's see what happens here. It wants to go proceeded straight. I've got a road closed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop, stop. Okay, all right. Yeah, I let that go a little bit longer than my wife would have been comfortable with. There was nobody behind me, but it did not like that. So I'm doing a little bit of a U-turn here, detour, manually detouring around. Uh, I'm gonna snapshot that. I think I'm up to three. <clears throat> All right, well, that was a little bit disappointing. I, I didn't think it was gonna go 30 miles an hour into a uh, road closed detour sign. Looks like I gotta go another block. Just trying to wait on this route to kind of reorient itself instead of taking me right back through that same intersection. It's kind of a nice quiet morning without a lot of car interactions here. Okay, I think it's rerouted adequately, so um, it wants to do a left here. I'm going to go ahead and let it do it. I'm going to show you this nice four-way intersection with a protected, uh, looks like it's going to have a protected left arrow. There's, okay, it's unprotected, so there is no green arrow. It's proceeding cautiously because it's guessing, I'm guessing it knows it's not protected. All right, a little flashing light for pedestrian crossing. It's definitely slowing down here. That's great. Well, it's stopped and it proceeded. Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna complain about that. It did not need to do that. It was just a flashing yellow. All right, so now here we are on the other side of this uh, construction that we dealt with a second ago, and it's going to proceed that way. A little bit of curiousness here. It's stopping. Okay, there's a car behind me. I had to hit the accelerator there. All right, so that was uh, that was an intervention via accelerator there because it was kind of confused, I guess, with that construction, and I just couldn't couldn't let it completely stop.
just on this little straightaway, just a quick conversation about um, some of the road features that we've been dealing with. I, I live in Florida, so I'm not dealing with snow right now, but a few of the testers that do live up in the uh, upper Midwest or in the Northeast are dealing with a lot of snow. And I, I think FSD just, they have stated it's just not ready yet. It can't see edge markings. It's not quite sure where the lanes are. Kind of a corollary to that is like here in Florida with big puddles. Um, I haven't had one on this specific drive, um, but it definitely seems to, okay, stop. There is no stop sign here. I'm pressing the accelerator again because there's a car behind me. So that may be bad map data. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the snapshot there. I think I'm up to four. Um, so I've seen it drive straight through puddles that um, perhaps could be deeper than would be safe to drive through. It, it doesn't seem to yield to them um, in the way I would expect. Uh, you know, flash floods in Texas or in some parts of the country where the, the entire road could be washed out. I think the car needs to understand that a, a puddle is not always uh, a couple inches deep. This has uh, been pretty straightforward here. It looks like we've got a, a mapped uh, slight jog at an intersection coming up here. That, that'll probably be a, a little bit of a protective left at a light. Nope, it's not gonna be at a light. It's just an intersection. So there's an oncoming car. It's got its blinker on. Looks like it's stopping for okay boy it started going towards that car but it did a nice kind of curve that was there's a kind of a large puddle you'll see here well it went around it a little bit interesting that the map chose this road um okay four-way stops a uh, two-way stop sign here nobody coming so it's clear but it's creeping and looking that was nice all right, some pedestrians crossing the road. It needs to stop. Okay, I had to hit that. that the one woman was uh, waiting and that was not what I would like to do as a respectful driver of pedestrians. He had already crossed and she was waiting and the car was still kind of going a little bit too fast there. I, I have a hunch it would have stopped, but just at a very scary uh, rate of speed. All right, uh, a couple seconds here. I'll just kind of spin the bird's eye view around it. We got a quick green. Here's a good example of the road is wider and it's, it's not using the curb as the right center line here, which is good. It used to kind of weave around these cars. You could see how, and it's, it's doing a pretty good job kind of hugging this left lane rather than oozing over flashing yellow. And it's went all the way down to nine miles an hour in the intersection. I guess it really wanted to make sure that that right lane was clear. Here's another yellow. Let's see if it acts the same way. All right, that time it didn't. It, it went straight through that one. <clears throat> so that was a little inconsistent yellow light behavior. So here we here we are again. It's it's doing a good job staying to the left and out of this parking lane here even though there are no cars parked there. So good job Tesla on, uh, on fixing that lane centering. I know Brandon has been talking a lot about that in Sacramento and, and I've mentioned it a few times. This is a 
school zone. Obviously, it's it's Sunday, so the lights aren't flashing. But this is one of these school zone speed limit with a time range. Uh, I've tried to test it before, and I, I haven't seen it acknowledge the time of day. But I've got a red light here that's a little bit obscured. Okay, it just turned green, so it can proceed straight. All right, it did that just fine. This is kind of a complicated intersection with a lot of different angles here. Um, it looks like it's mapping it as a four-way, but if you look up to the right, it's a five-way. See if it maps it right when it gets up closer. Yeah, there it is. Well, maybe it just wasn't in sight. There's the five-way to the right. light it's a combination protected and unprotected depending on if it gives you the arrow quick view of the mapping so pretty good job here all right there it goes Bridge. Lights are all green, so it's probably just going to look like normal stoplights. yellows got a flashing kind of a warning sign here that says be careful don't go too fast that's a 15 mile an hour flasher and then here's the flashing yellow with the turn here and it's it's slowing down like we got all the way down to, yeah and it went all the way down to 17 nice speed for that it used to have a lot of problems with that turn it's done, done much much better all right I've got the destination just coming up here on the left um, I'm sure it's going to stop just to beam it like it normally does. This is a, a park in my subdivision. Well, actually, I guess I get a different destination. The park was right there, so it's coming up to a, a different point of interest, I guess, I selected. Car with a left turn signal on it. It's waiting. That's good. All right, and I don't have anybody behind me, so I'm just going to show you what it does here. I'm It just stops on the road. I, I don't know what else it should do here when you set a, a POI like that. It I don't know. It feels like it should pull somewhere. But All right, so I'm disengaging there, and um, there we go. Two short drives. I would say that was a pretty good day. I mean, there were a couple little little ones that weren't great with the uh, some of the interventions I had, but... But in general, the lane centering was good. Some of the, the, the creeping, I think, is, is definitely making some improvements. Um, 
and you know I think this has just improved even while I've been on this build so I don't know how to assess the software not changing but the but the behavior changing unless they're sending settings or some sort of data back to the car uh, in, in between builds we can all speculate um, all right so I'll render this out and uh, sorry again for the music yesterday I won't do that again I I can't pretend to make everybody happy with music, but obviously the conversation seems to be what most of the people that watch these videos are interested in, so I'll, I'll avoid the music. And uh, today I'm not gonna speed it up either during the section, so if the video is longer and you don't like the straightaways, then please just skip through that. It, you know, I can't seem to make everybody happy, and since you do have the ability of, of kind of um, scrubbing forward on YouTube, I'll just let you guys do that. Enjoy the video. Have a great day. Super Bowl Sunday. Go Bucks.